Hey, what's up? In this stable diffusion tutorial, we're going to see how to simply create stable diffusion videos. If you have seen this tutorials, you know that stable diffusion until now, we have explored only images, um, cartoons, art, um, movie posters, images, just everything was image. But today I'm going to show you how to insanely, very simply make stable diffusion videos. This is not my work. Once again, I'm going to cover somebody else's work, but this is one of the most easiest way i know that you can make stable efficient videos and thanks to the brilliant work by nate raw um nate thank you so much for creating this repository also making it a python library and then uploading it here so if you have not uploaded or start the repository please make sure this is one of in my opinion this is one of the most underrated repository in stable diffusion that has not got a thousand stars so kudos kudos to nate uh, for making this amazing repository what is the output going to look like the output is going to look like this so you can make um video based on stable diffusion so now how are you going to make this video what is the fundamentals of this video i'm going to show you to you in the video tutorial let's get started we've got a google collab notebook in this google collab notebook first make sure that uh, you're going to select uh, gpu runtime I'm going to link Nate's Google Collab Notebook in the YouTube tutorial. Um, that is quite detailed and easy for you to do it. But just to show you, um, I've created my own Google Collab Notebook. The good thing with this Google Collab and uh, latest stable diffusion videos is that it can also upscale videos for you. It can either upscale videos or upscale images. So the main library, a um, couple of days back, it was just um, a GitHub project, but now it's a, it's a Python library. So the main library, stable diffusion videos, is what you need to create the videos and uh, real ESR GAN is what you need for uh, upscaling. So if you don't need to do upscaling at all, or if you think you do not have enough memory to do upscale, you don't need this. You just need stable diffusion videos. So first step is install stable diffusion videos, stable underscore diffusion underscore videos. Once you install the library, then you have to do hugging face authentication. So that you can either do it interactively like this, or if you want to do it programmatically, then you can use Hugging Face CLI login to do the login. Either way, just, just make sure that you are doing authentication with Hugging Face. And that's it. After you do that, all you have to do is from stable underscore diffusion underscore videos import interface. Now this is going to import a Gradio interface. Now, once you have the Gradio interface ready, which is going to also download all the required models once you have gradient interface ready all you have to do is interface dot launch very similar like how do you launch a typical gradient application then you're going to get a public url which you can click and then go here and then you can see so you can see what i've done is i've uh, created uh, two prompts which which will quickly tell you how what to do but let's see what has happened um so i have to have tried to morph between um, wolverine and um, iron man you can see it's it's very fast uh, then i'll tell you why it is so the way it works is once you like at this point we have left the collab notebook and then we have reached the gradio application so what you have to do is first you have got two tabs inside the gradio application the first tab is for images the second tab is for videos in the first images tab create give a prompt give a seed value and then copy all the other values like what is the guidance scale what is the number of inference steps and now after you give a first prompt, for example, I can say, I can say strawberry spaghetti, okay, seed 100 something, okay. So I can say this. And once I do this thing, it's going to create an image that is specifically for this particular seed, specifically for this guidance scale, specifically for this number of inference. And once you get this image, if you like it, Note down these things. If you don't like it, create a new image with a different seed value altogether. So now you know that you have got a strawberry spaghetti of this one four four four. Okay. So now let's say you want a you want a different image. Maybe instead of strawberry, you can say avocado spaghetti, and uh, you can click now. Now that is going to generate another image. So now at this point, you have got two different prompts, and then you have two different values. So what you can do is like after you see the image and then you're satisfied with this image like let's let's say like you have the image ready so you know you know these things now you can go to the videos tab and then you can select the first prompt and the seed value you can like basically technically enter copy here and paste it here and second seed value uh, first seed value and then second prompt and second seed value and then you can just run it 
So based on the number of walks that you do, your uh, length of the video is going to change. For example, if you see my video currently is uh, less than one second, it's because I've got less frames and that is also because I've done very less number of walks. Um, that is also because I do not want this to run forever. So based on the computation you've got, the time you've got, um, you can do this thing. So the first thing, like I said, go to the images tab, create images that you want and then come here and then give your prompt, prompt one, prompt two. So once again, like I've got a prompt that says very detailed masterpiece painting of Wolverine from Expand, blah, 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 blah. And then the prompt two is very detailed masterpiece painting of Iron Man, blah, blah, blah. And then it's creating me. You can see that you can see how slowly it is like you can see that I've got an um, Iron Man kind of um, an Iron Man suit and then I've got Wolverine as well. So this is how it the image works. There are a couple of options like for example, you can select the output directory where you want this to happen, where you want this video to be stored. Then you can select upscaling, upsampling, sorry. Uh, I think it's upscaling, upscaling or upsampling, whatever it is. Uh, so you can increase the quality of it, like increase the resolution of it. But you know, if you do it, there is a high chance that you might also hit out of memory error. But other than that, um, if you want the video to loop, you can click do loop and then you can select other options like where it is going to keep on looping. The last one is going to be the first one. But the whole point is one, you can have two different prompts and then you can do this. Or on the other hand, you can have the same prompt. Like for example, I can have avocado spaghetti uh, and say avocado spaghetti with a different seed value and avocado spaghetti with another seed value. So first example that we saw is you have two different prompts and then you are going to get um, two different things. Here, we are going to have the same prompt, but instead of um, having two, like let me reduce the number of walks to maybe eight, seven. Yeah, now you are going to have the same prompt, but uh, you're going to have two different seed values, which means it's two different images. And you're going to do this walk in the latent space, which means it's going to generate different images. And then you're going to stitch all these things together. And that is going to ultimately result in a final video. So now this is one of the ways how you can generate a stable diffusion video. So you go to this Google Collab Notebook, run everything from the top, like only this here where you have to copy paste it. Like also if you have got the token already saved, you don't have to do it. But then you can have an interactive way of creating a stable diffusion video. But let's say you don't like interactive way. You're a programmer, you want to do it everything programmatically. Thanks to Nate who has thought through this that we have got a function called walk. So now walk is going to help you create this programmatically where you can walk. And uh, as you can see this prompt, there it's got a couple of comments. I'm very thankful, very nice uh, from Nate for you to give for us to give um, for us to get all these all these comments. So basically you have two different prompts or maybe the same prompt, two different seed values or maybe the seed same seed value um, depending upon whether you have got the same prompt or different prompt. So a cat and a dog. So trying, we're trying to create a stable diffusion video that goes from a cat to a dog. Um, and then we are trying to store the values in a output directory called dreams. And the name of the file, file would be animals test if it's a video. And then guidance scale, number of steps that you want to take, number of inference steps, um, what kind of scheduler, do you want to disable the progress bar, uh, do you want to make video or just the image, what kind of text embeddings you want to use, do you want to loop the video. After you do all those things, it's going to run everything and then it's going to create a folder called dreams and uh, inside dreams, like you can see the other ones that we are creating here, uh, inside, inside, inside dreams, it's going to store the the file. Uh, the folder animals test and you can see the other things are getting saved from here like what we try to do it so here is our here is our um avocado spaghetti like a different avocado spaghetti and different avocado spaghetti so it's going to save all those things here and then all you have to do is open the email uh, sorry load the file and then play and then it's going to it's going to show everything like for example right now i played uh, the cat to dog so if i want to use a different one um I can like literally go here, copy the path, the one that we saved there and run it and run it. It's going to create that on the avocado spaghetti. And as you can see, it's not even one minute, one second. Um, that's also because like I said, 
the the time that we are taking or the number of walks that we are doing is very very less very small and uh, you can you can basically increase it and then it's going to create more more images and which means you are going to have more frames per second which means you are going to have a longer video but the point here is i mean this is just like literally two lines of python code or three lines of python code and you can generate images sorry you can generate videos using stable diffusion and uh, the point is you can also upscale it if you upscale it or upsample it if you click this or uh, you can see the repository here if you want to do it separately for example um, let's say you're going to hit out of memory um, if you don't want to do it like that what you can do is you can you can do like this to upscale or upsample the whole folder so your um, your videos are going to be upsampled like four times it's going to be upsampled which means you're going to have a higher resolution or a better videos but over all in all um, if you want this kind of video then you need to have different prompts and you also need to have that much time to for this to run make sure that your google collab session doesn't close it and doesn't close by itself while you are running this gradio prompt but otherwise this is this is one of the most simplest easiest i, mean, I don't have superlatives to use uh, but this is one of the most underrated stable diffusion project in my opinion at this point and this is quite amazing because until now everything that we have seen regarding stable diffusion was just uh, images i mean we have seen image to image we have seen masking we have seen replacing all those things but but so simple so easy to create videos this is quite brilliant and uh, magnificent i would say so okay once again thanks to nate raw for uh, making this amazing repository making this amazing project with clear documentation clear tutorials and then easy for us to use it I hope you find this video helpful and also make sure that you start the repository and give a shout out to the developer. Any questions, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, see you another see you in another Python tutorial.